It has been a an utter delight to perform the world premiere of Lord of the Hips. <laughs> um, allow me to introduce our mezzo soprano, <laughs> Suzanne Rovani. We have a few minutes for um, questions, and I'm sure um, you have some great ones for us because you gave us such great ideas for our opera. So anything regarding performing, improvising, music, career paths uh, in, the, in the musical arts? Any questions? Right there. Yes. We did. We had um, a week-long session um, with a guy named, his name is Jim Doyle, and he works at Disneyland. He does, is it Mulch, or Disney World? He does this show called Mulch, Sweat, and Shears, which is just a, an improv show that they do. It's like a rock show. But he came in, he developed it for another opera company, he came in and, and taught us the basics of improv. And um, then we just, we basically had that week to kind of get it under our belts and um, figure out how to do it with opera. So it's it's still a little bit of a work in progress, but today was super fun. So <laughs> <laughs> Another question? Comment? Concern? <laughs> Thanks. Well, part of it is what you give us, and that was awesome ideas today. Other questions? Is yeah. there somewhere else you perform? Like, is there somewhere we can go and watch <laughs> Yes, actually, Michael, Rhea, and I are all in uh, the Arizona Opera production of the <laughs> no, right I'm now. Not, no. uh, and you Sam is also in the chorus. He's not in that production. But um, we just had our. Wish me luck, guys. I'm going to try this. In Phoenix this past weekend, and we'll be in Tucson next weekend because we perform in both cities. Uh, so we'll be down there. And then Rhea will be in Don Pasquale, which is. It opens in Phoenix on April 25th. It's a Friday evening at 7.30. Um, it, it will not be held at Phoenix Symphony Hall. We've actually changed our venue. It'll be at the Orpheum Theater. Still downtown Phoenix. Um, a little bit of a different venue. So um, great space. It's going to be a really fun opera because we are staging it in Hollywood in the 1950s. And so every person that's in the opera is a Hollywood movie star or somebody who was famous at that time. So we all have very specific costumes, wigs, and makeup um, that we're going to be wearing. And, um, and I'm actually a famous character, uh, Jane Mansfield, who is my character. And she's kind of similar to Marilyn Monroe, so um, that's who I'm going to be dressed up as. And then... Um, so we have three performances, the April 25th, 26th, and 27th, and then the previous, uh, I think it's two weeks before, we'll be in Tucson, that uh, Saturday and Sunday. So Tickets for the opera generally are on the same as concert tickets, 
Um, but Arizona Opera does have a student discount. So we have student tickets. You get amazing seats that people with money pay upwards of $100 for that you guys get for, I think, 20 bucks. $16. Any more questions? So, uh, when I was younger, I, you know, didn't really know much about opera, but I really loved singing, and I was in a lot of musicals and stuff. But when I got to college, I realized, you know, I kind of had the voice for this opera art form, and kind of pursued it, and I really, really enjoyed the dramatic nature of opera and stuff, so I kept following that passion, and uh, now. <laughs> um, I actually didn't get into opera until I was a uh, freshman in college, so I had done singing my entire life before that, but it was always in choirs and musicals and stuff like that. Um, I did a lot of straight theater, um, so I, did, I thought I was going to go do my acting, uh, my undergrad in acting, but I went for music instead. Um, started learning classical music because that's what you do when you go to school for voice. You start off with very traditional repertoire so you can learn technique and figured out that I sounded way better singing classical uh, literature than musical theater literature. So I got into it pretty late, but now it's all different. I played basketball. <laughs> <laughs> We'll take one more, right one more, one more. I saw a hand out Oh, come on. Okay. Right here. No, no, come on. Come <laughs> on. Absolutely. No? Not for... We have a separate... We have a separate orchestra that plays um, for the operas. The Phoenix Symphony doesn't doesn't accompany uh, the operas. There are some members. I was that rejected. People, I raised up my hand. But, they pointed um, at me, and I was rejected. Under the stage. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and the Orpheum is just for the Rosalie in the spring. So all the other operas will always be accompanied. <laughs> <laughs> big. <laughs> 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 Taking over! Question! <laughs> hey, you guys say hi to the camera for Maribel Memes? Hello! You guys are awesome, by the way. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Here, can you stop the video right there? You were awesome, too. So, bravi to you. I can't believe you. Jake Garcia, Maribel Memes. That was the 7th Hour Opera. Out.